ADA films. Is there six? I think so. Yo, We're yo, back. Yo. We're back. Another We're store up. credit. Is it on? Yeah. Is it recording right, everything? Bro. I don't know. Gotta make on. sure. Gotta on make pop in. We're back. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. I hope you guys aren't too hungover from Cinco de Mayo. You know, Cinco de Drinko. Cinco de Drinko. What's good? It's uh, DC here. <laughs> and we got two fine gentlemen on the side of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola, 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 hola. Chris, Andy, no introduction? Nah, yeah, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> we already said hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We, we already had this, the sounds going off. But anyways, what's, what's new on the block? What's new for the week? This week? Uh... The Warriors are going to spank the Lakers this week. Yo! Okay, what do you say? If you guys don't know, DC is a Warriors fan. For how long? Uh, I don't know, like 2012, won, right? 2012-ish. Oh, okay. I used to play with them in 2K. And oh, that's, what made, that's, that's what made me like them to be H. Nice, and, nice. Yeah, so. So what you got? What you got? What's your, what's your I, I have to go with the Warriors. I'm going to say in like six. I'm going to be nice. Oof. I don't think they're going to game seven. Okay. I hear all the Lakers fans saying that they're going to be too tired and AD is going to body them. But I don't know, bro. Let me shut down Sabonis. Okay. And AD is unpredictable, so we'll see. What do you think? Christian? No, nah, well, Christian. I don't really care. Boo, because the Clippers are out or what? No, <laughs> there's more important sports going on. Oh, uh, fact. Champions League. Champ- oh, Let's see, go! that's not my field. Yeah. Who's, uh, who's in that? Uh, The Milan Derby is going on, so that's going to be good. That's like an iconic matchup. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, kind, it's, like, it's like if the... It was the Western Conference Finals, and the Clippers and the Lakers were in the... Like, as in, Whoa. like... Because oh, they, they play in the same arena. Oh, wow. the same Yeah, it's called San Zero. Um, that's big. And then, obviously, Real Madrid, um, Man City, which yeah, is, like, the, that technically is the final. But in reality, I... I this is me being realistic. Mm-hmm. I think the winner of the Milan Derby is going to win the Champions League. Oh, that's what I think. Even though Real Madrid is fucking Real Madrid, and that's like their that's their tournament essentially, it's the Real Madrid Invitational. <laughs> wow! <laughs> but Who wants to play us? But I feel like in reality, if Man City win, I I wish Man City would win it. But I'm being I think I'm being realistic, and whoever wins the Milan Derby is gonna win the Champions League final like two one or something. Like that. mm-hmm. That's what I think. Do all those happen this week too, or that's next week? Oh, but okay. yeah, but uh, I mean, I think the Warriors Lakers. Going back to that, I think. It's going to go six, and somebody's going to win. Ah, boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. I just don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really, like. Keep up with that. Keep up with basketball no more. I, yeah, I don't really care. You just uh, play, really play in your own league in no, real life? Yeah, no, no, not, not even. It's just like, uh, it's cool, you know. I'll probably pay more attention in the finals. Yeah, that's about It's kind of like baseball. Like Facts. baseball, I, I think. I like baseball more than basketball now, but I won't keep up with baseball till the playoffs. Like, no, nah, it's valid. I'm yeah. same way with football. Yeah, now football, low key, since it's. Un- I mean, I'm off Sundays, and I have a homie Ralphie, so you know, it's Sun- good. Sunday, you know, Sundays are pretty good. Yeah, Sundays yeah, yeah. are pretty good. They're funny. <laughs> um, everybody gets together, but I, I think, yeah, low key, it's fun. I think it's just the, the people I hang around with. Sunday footballs are pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's hard. And today, Canelo fights. I, you said you didn't even know that he fought. <laughs> what was he fighting? I don't know. The, what's that dude's name? Let me see. Nobody. Chile. <laughs> Rob said nobody. <laughs> he's, I, I trust he's Rob. Fighting, he's fighting Willie. Uh, he's fighting John, John Ryder. <laughs> he's fighting in Jalisco, bro. So he's fighting a tomato no, can. I, I uh, overheard Willie doing his little um, Stats? boxing segment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And he's just like, it just shows you who's the face of boxing. Canelo? Well, no, right, uh, Ryan, Tank. Uh, Tank fought Ryan Garcia on a non-championship fight, and Tank. it got fucking media outlets everywhere. Uh, yeah, and then FX Canelo, FX. which is to some people the face of boxing, <laughs> is fighting, and I didn't, even, I didn't even know. I don't even know. It's kind of like when Mayweather used to fight. Like no matter who he would fight, you would know Mayweather was mm-hmm. fighting. You're just like Mayweather's <laughs> fighting. I yeah, don't know, even like it. Pacquiao and stuff like that. Like you knew yeah. that these guys were fighting. You know. Facts. Yeah, facts. But, uh, that was a good fight too. The the Garcia versus Tank. I don't know if we talk. Do we talk? No. Did we talk about that or no? I thought it was underwhelming. On the lot, la- yeah. yeah, it was mid. Yeah, I wanted them to go to war. They, they, it was strategic. Not, yeah, <laughs> and you got to think they, they weren't fighting for a belt, none of that. It was just like a sparring session. They should have just called it an exhibition. Yeah, yeah at that point. No, nah, I mean, again, I don't know shit, but I, I, I was definitely underwhelmed. Like I was literally like, I paid Damn, for this. I, I paid shit. for this shit. That's <laughs> yeah, crazy. You paid for it. I, I honestly, bro. Call me a Barbie, <laughs> but I hate lags. I hate shitty service. Uh, okay, like, okay, if so. I'm fucking watching something, I have to watch it, like, 
the best quality. Yeah, like, no, uh, no, like, yeah, no, no laggy. staticky, no, like when Willie has his fucking virus fucking <laughs> streams, like bro, like those shits bug out. I hate that. <laughs> I'm I'm super against any lag on a real time like something event. important. Huh? And, well, like something that you're w- w- yeah. wanting to watch. Like same thing, like Champions League. If I'm not watching it, like sitting down, like non, like on pe- they're on Peacock right now most Peacock. of the time. Like I I get ma- if I have to stream it. Because in New York, I used to stream soccer matches. Yeah. And I would be like, man, I'd be like fucking f- five minutes behind. Oh, <laughs> Son, that's the worst, too. Yeah, I, so I watched the fight and I completely... I, like, he had he knocked him down and then obviously he hit him with the fucking gut punch. But It's it's so funny because it, it obviously everyone now is like bringing up all the clips of him and Garcia talking. And he kept saying everything like, you're going you're gonna to throw a right and I'm going to duck and I'm going to hit you straight in the face. He's like, yeah, right. And then they go back, literally through the right, duck, and just knock them. So it's like funny because like he was like, obviously people talk shit back and forth, but him just saying everything he was gonna do, I'm like, all right, bro. All right. Yeah. No. Anyways. Not, not, not my thing. All anyways, right. Anyways. Back to sneakers. <laughs> what's coming out? Yeah. So uh, touched on it a bit. Footscapes are coming back. We said, called it. They, they are. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Like just the uh, regular woven joints. They show like a really underwhelming colorway. It's safe. It's black with the gray woven, cool. white. For sure not going to cop those, but <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a comfortable shoe, so if y'all never had a pair, cop them. Um, another cool shoe, hopefully they come with a retro card, Playoff 8s. Playoff 8s yeah. with the good retro card. They added the, like, the red lining or whatever, right? The, the like, freaky print, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. the red, like, tab or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, 150 store credit. But <laughs> <laughs> they're not oh, gonna... and even the uh, that and the Travis dropped and dropped. As oh, well. yeah, the Travis Scott market, but I mean, they're yeah. gonna go up. It's a decent colorway, yeah. um, especially with it being like the last one, one Jordan one that they're doing. That's gonna, it's gonna retain. We got I, a couple pairs over the weekend, and yeah. they all sold. We have one for tomorrow at noon. And How would you say that's moving so far, like in the store? Oh, it's quick. I mean, they're yeah. well, we're selling them like uh, well, like men's sizes, like at nine. We haven't gotten no girl sizes yet, but they're like uh, cheaper. But I feel like they're gonna stay around there. Maybe go like a hundred bucks cheaper for now, because. The market's weird. It's um, like the hot wave. You could kind of sell it at all. not what you want, but like it's yeah. if it's available, somebody's gonna come in and get it because it's there yeah. instead of waiting for three weeks or two weeks, whatever the apps are doing right now. Facts. Um, but yeah, it's like the hot shoes, like the Phantom when it came out. It's like the Lost and Founds when it came out. Um, I don't know what released recently. Yeah. Even like the nine nine one Jones, like we can't mm-hmm. keep pairs just because <laughs> they sell right away. Um, yeah, it's like. It just goes to like people just want what's hot, what's coming in. Yeah, definitely. Is yeah. It, well, go ahead. Uh, no, because I was going to say, even um over the weekend, those Wizard Street dropped and we didn't get no pairs in, but people were asking for them. Yeah, they're high demand. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a true blue. Yeah. It's in reality, it's a real true blue. Um, Jordan actually played in that model, so it's cool. It's the first time it ever released it. Technically, it's an origin, like an OG colorway, if you really think about it. Um, I thought they were nice. I definitely. Thought they should have been with Nike Air, but his pair was def- had a jump man, so it, it yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. I think it's cool. I think, I mean, those along with, like, even the Cardinal 3s, I think they, they're along the same thing. Like, they're the same shoe, essentially. Facts. This is it, no? That's the Cardinal. That's a Cardinal, yeah. yeah. But the, with the, it was just the same thing, with, just with blue. Blue, right? yeah, essentially yeah. blue and, like, a gold for the Wizards. Yes. But, yeah, people, oh. high demand shoe, low key. The threes? The, yeah. yeah, the Wizards threes, yeah. yeah. They sold out. Uh, I was seeing on Twitter mm-hmm. a lot of, like, the sneaker people that I follow were like, damn, I'm surprised these sold out on sneakers. And I'm not going to lie, me yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you thought they were going to sit? I thought they were going to sit for, like, a couple of days. Yeah. I thought. Well, didn't something else with the Thunder Fours? Those, they did a shock drop. There we got, go. like, a couple pairs in. And they, they we moved a couple over the weekend. It's nothing yeah. people are going too crazy over. But considering what that shoe used to do to the streets. What was it like? They used to be like a five hundred dollars shoe and yeah. always sell. Right now they're three hundred dollars tops. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, but it's it's a nice shoe. It's all black shoe. I just feel like a lot of people are moving away from black shoes right now because mm-hmm. yeah. of summer. Besides the Phantom. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> but even summer, like I feel like a lot of people like Lost and Founds are picking up a little head of steam. Those Travises are really well for the summer. I feel like people like wearing white shoes for the summer. That's why I think those threes do so well. Like, yeah, most people want to wear shorts with like a cool pair of Jordans. 
Facts. Even those new, uh, the ALDs. I didn't know, like, besides that, what's that 860 model? They're also doing a 1906. Yeah. I, I like that, the the model, the 860 or whatever. I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, I think it's really good. It's breathable. It's nice. Um, I have a pair. Rob has a pair. Um, they're, I think they're cool. Yeah, they look mad comfy. I haven't tried that model out yet, but I definitely want to try yeah. a pair. I wasn't a big fan of the 1906, like, as in, like, the How model, because I had it at the protection pack. And... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It just was underwhelming on my foot. <laughs> what do you uh, mean? Like, it just wasn't all that. Like, it was cool, but it wasn't like, like the, that, eight, what, I don't know, the, the latest ALD shoe. Mm -hmm. I think that one's really nice. It's breathable. Yeah. It's, it's um, better. It's, yeah, I like that one more. The 1906 is just, meh. Okay. All right. Fit check. Since we're talking about how stuff fits on feet. Who wants to go first? You go first. All right. Uh, <laughs> fit check. Today I got on Lost and Founds, 1213 Overpant, uh, 1213 Fleece, 1213 Trucker. You already know how it goes. DC, special uh, shoe. Uh, I got on my Supreme Dunks, the Black Drunks. Uh, what I got on? Double Rail Denim, my little Selvage joints. Uh, my favorite vintage tee, Westside Connection one. Shout out Luke. <laughs> Bless me with this one. We lived in New York. And what else I got? Oh, the museum hat. It's a gray jaunt. Great job. Briss. Nah. Uh, I have the Star Credit hat, the STP, uh, Diana hoodie, um, some regular leopard shorts, and <laughs> Hoka Bondi 8s that I got recently. How those fit? They look mad comfortable. Yeah, yeah they're mad comfortable. They're really nice. You're going to run in them or just freak them? No, I'm going to just wear them. <laughs> I'm going to just freak <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, I'm on my referee thing. Yeah, it was funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, you're not, look, this is again, this is not trying to say anything. I got a call from somebody that works at Jordan Brand yesterday, and they're like, and I was wearing these on my foot, mm -hmm. and then he's just like, what do you think of all black shoes? I know that. And then I was just like, oh, I think they're sick. And then he was just like, do you think it lacks creativity? And uh -huh. then I was just like, no, nah, not really. He's just like, so if I went to the board with an all black shoe, and I was like, it just really depends who wears it and blah, blah, blah. I was like, black hat fours, yeah. pure, pure money threes. Well, not a pure money, the black, black hat, hat three. Yeah. Um, and then I literally told him, like, I'm wearing all black shoes right now. Yeah. And then he's just like, what? And I was just like, yeah, I'm just wearing like a Bondi triple black. Yeah. And then he was just like, oh, why is that? And I was like, oh, I think all black shoes look sick. Like, they look cool. It just it depends who you put your hands on it. Like, the Travis fucking is an all black shoe. Phantom, the Phantom. Yeah. Even the the pennies you were running. The yeah, the pennies. Yeah, yeah. it's an all black pennies. shoe. And, but he was he was talking about like general like does the general mass think an all black shoe is fire? Yeah. He's just like, is it hard? Is it? I don't know. He confused me with like he thought he was telling me cool, hard, and fire are all three different emotions of a person. And I was just like, I think hard and fire are the same thing. Yeah, but cool, cool is very like eh. cool is like nonchalant. Yeah. Like, oh, those are cool. Yeah. I think hard and fire are almost the same thing. But yeah, yeah I was telling him like. You can release all black Jordan one. That shit's gonna sit. They probably have an old all black Jordan one right now at Foot Locker or Shoe Palace, ended, yeah. like that is just there. That's always coming out. Uh -huh. But I tell him like, but look at the the Phantom Travis, and it's funny because I had that ar uh, argument with a customer, not argument, but like a talk with a customer, <laughs> when I was telling him if the Travis Phantom was the only Travis low to come out, no matter what, it would have been a two thousand dollar shoe. Like if that was the <laughs> only Jordan one low he ever dropped. Like if he did the Mocha High. Mm -hmm. And the Phantom were the only two, it, one, yeah. it, they would all be, well, the Mocha is already like $2,000, but I just feel like it just depends who is the person behind it and what's the story to tell. And then he brought up another shoe that we could bring up is um, Zach Bia got a shoe uh -huh. and oh, he yeah, was telling me, he's just like, do you think that shoe is hard? And he's like, do you think it was lazy because it's all black? And I literally told him, I was like, I'm not going to lie. I just don't see another colorway on that shoe. It's cool yeah. that he brought it out all black with hints of red yeah. because it looks cool. I, I was just like, he, he's like, but he could have done more with the colorway. And I'm like, in reality, he's going for what he likes. So mm -hmm. I kind of get it, you know? And yeah. I've I, I seen on, it's funny because on Twitter, people hate it. And then on Instagram, people like it. But it, again, it just depends who has it in their hands. Like Instagram mood boards are eating it up, <laughs> but then sneakerhead Twitter is fucking calling it trash. So it just really depends who it's pretty much who like, has it in hand, who likes it. And that just goes back to like, if you like something, just wear it. If you don't like something, don't wear it, you know? Yeah, facts. Because yeah. even um, like speaking on all black shoes, I think another thing that comes into play is uh, the materials you use for it. Because 
if it's made with like quality shit, it's it, it looks good. You know what I'm saying? Because that that shit makes a difference. Yeah, so. but yeah, again, it just it just makes sense yeah. how you execute it because mm -hmm. they tried to do a Black Cat Six and that shit was fucking booty. For real? Yeah, yeah. It, was it was terrible. Like it's like perforated leather, leather, leather so. blah blah blah. But like, if they bring yeah. back a Pure Money Three, the exact way how it was when the first re the first one came out, people would all eat white that one? up. No, the all mm. black. Oh, 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 the Black, black Cat, Cat Three. Yeah. I keep fucking. Go. Yeah, Black Cat. Um, people will like it because to me, I remember at round two when they, before they retroed the Black Hat Four, Black Hat Fours, Metallic Green Fours, mm -hmm. and Black Hat Threes were like the the like the super mysterious like archive kid shoe. Like yeah. they would fucking um they would love those shoes and they they raised the price you know because people like E and Rocky and fucking um facts who E and Rocky Cardi, Cardi. all the, like yeah. all all the ASAP guys was were wearing those shoes mm -hmm. so they the the fucking price went up it was actually the same with the with the shattereds because they were all running it because it all went with like the v-loan aesthetic and everything that they were doing no yeah it just again like i was telling him yesterday on the phone call it's just like it really depends what story you have yeah and then i get i went on to fucking tell him like yo y'all y'all dropping too many shoes you yeah, yo, <laughs> maybe slow down a little bit yeah no but i mean they gotta make their bread you know i guess fx i mean i think they are well these came relatively quick so you can tell they already had that shit i mean no they probably can have a warehouse full yeah of so yeah. just like all right boom yeah. run it now but even those travis's what they dropped last like tuesday wednesday on the sneakers app and yeah. people were getting them in over the weekend yeah so. on saturday for real yeah Jeez. now it's funny so it just shows you Get my pair soon. rob always mm -hmm. likes to say like how i don't haggle with customers like when i tell them a price it's usually that price oh yeah and it's just because i like giving them the best price possible up yeah. front yeah but and, now <laughs> and the meaning of that story is that the customer that came with the travis mocha on saturday that sold mm -hmm. instant the mocha the fucking olive. olive um he came because he came back to us because the first time he ever came to the store he bought a black hat four yeah and i told him like yo i'll give you six and that's where the market is at that moment i was like i'll give you six i think they're 650 so 650 because i think we priced it at 850. yeah so 650 yeah. And he's like, you can't do more. And I'm like, look, bro, I'm going to sell at 850. And I was just like, but go shop it around. It's Saturday. Go to the stores. I was just like, if nobody gives you a better offer, you know, obviously take it or if not, just come back. Yeah. My offer stands unless the market fucking crashes. <laughs> um, he did his thing. And then he was just like, damn, nobody offered me more than 550. And I was just like, told you. And then he's, <laughs> so he, so point is he sold us the shoe. And then he came back on Saturday with the Olive Travis, but Friday night he was DMing us and he was telling us like, "Yo, can you?" I think what I told him, seven fifty, eight fifty, seven fifty, because we oh, put yeah, nine fifty. Yeah, yeah, I told yeah. him seven fifty, and I put, but if the market completely crashes on it, we have to readjust the price. Yeah, uh -huh. and then he was just like, "All right, bet." So he then he DM'd us on Saturday morning. And he's just like seven fifty still stand and low key we we kind of overpaid but again nobody had it in hand so I was yeah. like I could put it at nine fifty and it's gonna sell yeah um so he pulled up and then he was telling me he's just like oh now I just hit you guys up first because last time you didn't waste my time you hit me with the with the first good offer right away you didn't start at five and then I talked to you up to six fifty wow. it was boom boom but yeah I, t I always tell people the same thing I'm like yo, yo go shop it around I feel like um our offer is always good like i saw a comment a couple weeks ago that i literally was irritated but i mean what can you do you know um some guy um we posted a union for 1800 oh yeah i remember that um and he was just like oh you guys probably gave this guy a thousand dollars and priced it at 18 and me like the I would say like the competitive me just want to talk shit back me was just like yo king i paid fourteen hundred dollars for that shoe like i'm only making four hundred yeah but if in reality that, i was just like just you know i just let 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 them rock let let them think we think but that shoe again we don't really see union ones at all so Especially we could DS. we could put it at 1800 and it's gonna sell and literally sold the next day yeah. somebody lined up for it somebody lined up for it yeah. so it's almost it's almost like again the troll me would be like send them a picture of the whole process here you go king Fool, that <laughs> overpriced been nutty. it paid 1400 made 400 yeah whatever but again yeah. it's this shit that people don't see and who cares like i don't give a fuck no. um <laughs> even the it goes back to the two other shoes that i feel like you don't see that we've gotten that I feel like we overpriced and not really overpriced. We got the Art Basel um, Soulfly Jordan One. Oh yeah. The Miami Hurricane colorway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On StockX, they're like sixteen hundred, but I put it at eighteen. I paid thirteen fifty for it. 
Um, we put out 18. We got so many hit ups for that shoe, but it's because you never see that shoe. DS. Yeah. DS. And low key, there's like a lot of fake pairs on the market too. So it's kind of like the Chunky Dunky where uh, people, a lot of people don't want to buy it unless they buy it from like somebody that they trust. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one, which, which was a lot cheaper shoe, was the the vintage gray UNC, like I think overseas Jordan 1 Low. Oh, yeah. The Code JP one. The Code JP. It, ha- it yeah. has the ugly shape of Jordan 1s. It doesn't have the good shape. Yeah, with the wings in the back. Um, but you never see that shoe on StockX, if I'm correct. It's at 158. Mm-hmm. Rob can answer it. Um, it's at 158, 160. Mm-hmm. But I got it for, I told the guy, I straight up told the guy, I'll give you 150 store credit because um, he only wanted credit. And he was yeah. like, all right, bet. He pulled up, traded it in. And I priced it at two. In reality, I wanted to put it at 180, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to put it at two because we've never had that shoe in this store. Mm-hmm. And it took a couple of days, but it's sold for 200. Yeah. But it's again, it's a shoe that doesn't go for too much, but you're never going to really see around. Yeah. And it's a cool shoe. It looks like a fucking Union 1 Jordan 1 Low. Cool. And if that shoe would have been executed correctly, like with the good shape, because um, it has decent quality leather, if it would have been with the good shape Jordan 1s, like the powder blues, the bleached corals, I think it would be like a five, $600 shoe. Easily. Mm-hmm. Just because it looks nice. But it has that that awkward like jordan one mid low shape whatever it's called it's like those uh the year of the rabbits that dropped earlier this year same thing they like only released overseas but they use the good jordan one shape and that shoe uh it's like a rack right yeah a rack plus yeah so much bread so but yeah, it goes to show like even just a simple thing of like the shape of a shoe yeah supply and demand but yeah going yeah. back to the all black shoe it just really depends how you execute it no but even <laughs> like, even even on the the union like i've noticed Low key, we've been getting a lot of pairs in, like people just bringing them in in different sizes, yeah. and they always sell quick, bro. If it's not the same day, it's it's the next day. Yeah, so it's how, like you can goes. even and that knowing you guys, you can even notice that and be like, bro, we can price this shit higher. So you could have priced it higher, honestly. No, eighteen's cap. Yeah, Low but key. but it's but like you know fair. you could have you know like some people out there are like, bro, this shit moves every time. We gotta make more, you know. So I you, sometimes get. I don't want to say amazed, but then I'm just like some people's prices. And I get it. You know, if you have it and you get it more like more, yeah, power, yeah, to yeah. more power to you. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I go into some stores and I'm just like, yo, like these shits are they're nuts. Like they're the mad. price is too the high. The price is too high. Yeah. Or it's even crazier when like a fellow like shop owner yeah. comes in and he has the, his stickers on it. <laughs> and he's like, yo, can I just do trades for stuff that's going to move? And. I think to me, that's a really cool thing about our community is that yeah. we allow, or not even we allow it. It's just like we're open to like me going to another store with a couple shoes or them coming here with like, yo, yeah. this is not moving. Can you try to move it? Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Easy. Um, and we work with fel- um, consignment shops, uh, buy, sell, trade owners. Yeah. But it's just, just like knowing your market. Like yeah. Leo comes in here all the time. And he'd be grabbing shit that look he's sitting like he grabs a lot of GRs, but then sometimes he grabs a lot of good shit. And then with the good shit, I'm like, yo, I can't give you a discount on this or whatever. Yeah. It's because it's good stuff. Yeah. And nice. then it's funnier when it's funnier when we, we see it at certain stores where like they get it and then they put it for a little bit, like not even a little bit, a lot more. And I'm just like, <laughs> yo. And yeah. I was like, but yo, but again, it just depends where you're at. Like we're in Chinatown in the middle of Los Angeles. He's in fucking Hollywood. Yeah, so he gets traction. the tourists, you know, like they don't know any better and stuff like that. And I yeah. get it because mm-hmm. it happened in New York, like in New York, Lower East Side and Soho. It's a, literally a mile down. Yeah. But the Soho pricing was crazy compared to the Lower East Side pricing. Fox. Yeah. And and I've noticed like a lot of people, a lot of, well, I guess resellers come in and do that. Like, obviously, they may not have a shop. But even some, bro, like where I see where we're like they're getting like 10 pairs of shoes or whatever. And they're, you know, and they're I think that's that's what obviously sets syndicate apart is like everybody eats like you guys eat. The reseller eats and then even whatever, if someone else buys it from them. So it's like it goes through so many parties and situations. So it's like even like the one person being like you paid a thousand is like, all right, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, nah, like you. I But yeah, that's what I was saying. Like you could have charged more because. It's like that thing where even like watch dealers where they're like they'll spend sixty K to make two thousand off a watch. But they've spent the six and it's like that's how it is where it's like sometimes you'll make a hundred, sometimes you'll make four hundred. And I even noticed that with even like some of my shit where some people will be like, 
oh, this is this ain't even worth fifty. This ain't, and I'm like, bro, like, yeah. This, and I, but it's like the time and everything going through it as well. I feel like people also have to understand when they're selling shoes is it really just depends. Like you know, you could get a little upset over getting a low ball offer on a Lightning Four, but it's just like, bro, you know how many Lightning Fours are in circulation? Like Facts. so yeah. many, especially that sucks. And I always tell DC, I was just like, I'd rather buy ten one. pairs of used lightning force than 10 pairs of brand new lightning force because the lightning the used one's obviously going to sell better yeah and for us a lot of people rather spend the 200 to 225 instead of the 325 to 350 mm -hmm. and i think Facts. again it's just not we're not putting none of our business out there but if we buy something at 250 260 credit whatever so we're going to put it at 325 yeah. 350 the highest but mm -hmm. what people don't see is it's like there's rent there's payroll there's so much shit. There's bills. Tax. So that we're not really making ninety dollars. We're making yeah. like maybe fifty. Yeah, if that. If that, but I mean, it, that doesn't really matter. But it's just like, I feel like we're really fair with our pricing. Yeah, and and even uh, like, how much were the 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 Supreme uh, Blazer going for? Which Brand one? new. The one with the snakeskin on it. <laughs> Hundred bucks. Yeah, but but even right, I some dude came in, for shopped 60. around, yeah, yes. sixty bucks, and he's like, oh, I, I gotta get it for sixty, and he was wearing like a snakeskin. Yeah, shirt. and it was like yeah. perfect, oh, yeah. but it's like you know, like even he like you know, it's good that the he, shout out Arian because I think he the runs best, it up here. Yeah, the best the best thing about here sometimes is seeing like your random tourist that comes just to see Chinatown, yeah, or they come to the galleries and stuff like that, and they yeah. come in here and they find the eighty dollar shoe, hundred dollar shoe. Um, sometimes they walk in on the right time and they get a dollar shoe. Yeah, a dollar. We sell dollar yeah, shoes. Oh yeah, oh because because the thing. <laughs> no, but I usually yeah. I usually think the the there's like the the Chinatown champions that come usually for that stuff. Yeah, but sometimes there's like super random. Yeah, but yeah, we'll take a little break. Little break. Little break. Get a little get, get a little wobble, girl. Eternal take. Bueno. Eternal take. Yeah. Back at it. Oh, yeah. The GGs came out today. Yes, sir. Did anybody hit? Fuck no. I didn't hit. Uh, boo. I wanted them low key. I tried. Hooping. Hey, I wanted a hoop in them. I need a new gym shoe. That would have been perfect. Low key. I don't even hoop. <laughs> I just like shoes like that for the gym. I don't know. I got issues. No, yeah, I really just wanted respect. I really wanted a hit on those, but yeah. oh, well, I even tried twice. I never tried really. Oh, the because you got the early access the first what, time. Yeah, whatever. No, no, it was just two different locations. Two oh, different locations. Sneakers. Today I woke up at seven to try. I Sam. went back to sleep. Failed. Never. <laughs> Never wake up at seven for shoes. For shoes? No, I mean I'm up, but I'm not gonna wake not up. For for shoes. Yeah, not for shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It was cool though. They dropped uh, the her jerseys too. For like, real? That she used to play oh, yeah, in. I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw. That's wow. cool. Wow. That was nice. And um, I was reading uh, the. Why well, did I? I don't know if y'all ever seen like the sneakers. They have like the little. Behind the design thing oh, that they oh, show, it was the dress. Yeah, the how, dress, the, yeah, yeah. For why they had the like tartan print on it, mm -hmm. and they just said that they're gonna continue uh, doing just black and white colorways for her to honor her and like the jerseys that she wore. So that's cool, sweet. Yeah, need I need the? Eh, I don't really need them, but I wanted them. Yeah, That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. How many, how, what are they going for right now? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say like five. five. Yeah, five and up, depending on size. You know, bigger yeah, sizes still. Let's uh, find out. Let's find out. Yeah. It's still a little no, price here. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people still comfort like um, still comfort that that shoe, and even the fuck. What is it called? Oh yeah, five to six. Yeah. Bigger sizes like seven. Yeah, fuck. still moving. Yeah, it's, it's lucky the same as the sixes when they came out. They're like around yeah. that price. Big sizes now are looking like around the stack. Bro. <laughs> yeah, Kobe yeah. six are better though. Easily. <laughs> no, nah, actually, I like fours as comfort wise. I don't know about hooping since I don't hoop, but I like this. The, the six, six is the best yeah. one. I I fucked up because I um I got the KD um the threes. Oh threes. yeah, and I used to really like that model of hooping, but I think I like I feel like the cope this one wasn't constructed for today's like comfort. The KD three, I think they just kind of brought it back. It's like you were uh, telling me how the, the pro show thing is a real thing. Yeah, like the pro show means it just got retroed and it, to the to, to today's game, I would say, because the Kobe's are really comfortable and still, like they feel like how they felt back then. Yeah. And I feel like the KD, I feel it really stiff. 
on my feet. Yeah, but I mean, maybe I need another basketball shoe, and maybe I'll sell that Katie for like eighty bucks. <laughs> and and didn't you sell another pair? I of sold shoes my Kobe <laughs> because I got the KDs for retail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the KD is just like it's not. I mean, I'll play. I'm gonna play in it tonight. But yeah. if if it gives me another like blister, I'm gonna be like, all right, fuck this it's shit. Over with. Yeah, maybe you still have to break it in, King. Did you like the fours? Because I don't know if you've seen. They're supposed to be retroing those in X two. KD fours. Yeah. I never hooped in those. Uh, I hooped in KD threes, hyper dunks, and Kobe sixes. That's the only shoes I really hooped in. In reality, I mean, ba- soup Horachis back in the day too. Jeez. Shout out to Horachis. Now even uh, DC was running in Kobe's, weren't you? Well, yeah, during the pandemic, I didn't have <laughs> running shoes at the time. I was like, man, I'm bored. I'm gonna just start running, and then I started with those. It was a bad idea. That shit did not go well for my feet. Cause you, and then you had a limp for what, like a month? Yeah, it was like a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, bro, I Dope uh, character, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, it was a funny little side note. When I, when that was the first time I met DC, and he had like a little limp. And I thought, like, that was just DC, like, just had a limp. Had a little pimp limp. Literally. And then, like, because that's how he walked. And then I was just like, oh, that's just, Coach you know. if he pulled out a cane. So, <laughs> but then, like, I'm so glad I never asked him, like, yo, like, what happened <laughs> that you have a limp? <laughs> I would well, look I mean, so had, stupid, bro. <laughs> he had excuses for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, you know. <laughs> Fucking fell off his bike once and got hit by a bike the other time. <laughs> and should have a limp. <laughs> been through some shit, bro. No, nah, it'd be like that. No, but even, um. Other shoes, the Asics, the the Kith Asics that are coming out. Those, they look like the Jones. They yeah. do. I saw the someone Jones. post a picture of... What, his name is not... I forgot his name, bro. Or T, No, Cruz? What's his name? Victor Cruz? Victor Cruz. He posted... They, someone like, oh, new uh, Kith Asics coming soon. And that's I was like... That's Ronnie's twin in them. Yeah, yeah, bro. They literally <laughs> look like Jones. Like, no, no, no they, lie, bro. They, they look like different hues of Jones. They, <laughs> they move the color... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So shout out to them, bro. Like, like they're definitely capitalizing off of like the trends that are happening with the Asics, with the New Balances, and like the running shoe phase, you know. But I feel like that's just Kith and Ame. Like, yeah. I feel like they can essentially almost do what they want. Yeah. It's, I'm not saying that they put out bad product because all their product's pretty good. Like even this, the, what, the nine 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 eight or whatever yeah, yeah, that yeah. they dropped. The box is nice. The quality is nice. The model's not for me, but they always put quality into their product. Yeah, and people love it. And Ronnie's been doing Asics. Yeah, like Facts. that's been his thing from Loki the get go. So yeah, he had the ones with the little tongue. The, yeah, the gel like fives. Yeah, the, the badge. I tongue. hated those. <laughs> Didn't he do like fifty colors of it at one point? And he like he posted a pic and it was all the colors of them. I don't it remember. Was like a while yeah. ago though, it was like the anniversary ones. Yeah, that he did, even like that's and then he, he like retro the them into nine nineties. Shout out yeah. Ronnie, bro. Ronnie. Really doing it. Yeah, he can no. do no wrong. Even though it's funny because people are so 50 50 on him, but I'm just like, bro, I think he's sick. Like, That's big bro right there. Like, I think what he does is cool. It's some some of it's for me, some of it's not for me. Like, the Genesis I thought was really cool, the 990. Yeah, really nice. We have one right there. Yeah, somewhere right yeah. there. But then those 998's not for me. And then all those, like, um, the when he brought back the what, Salmon Toes and all that stuff. Yeah, that was hard. I feel like that was cool because he made them wearable again to today's time. I hated the the one with the V tongue or whatever. Yeah, the Vag tongue, the yeah. Jolly Five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are freaky. Yeah, I, I hated yeah, that. I, I I was never a fan of that model ever. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I remember when those were like running the streets for a while. I remember that man had people in a chokehold wearing joggers and those. Oh, <laughs> Danny. Uh-uh. Yeah, Danny, Danny was one of the. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, again, it's just like he, people believed in his product, and that's cool, you know. Yeah. No. Like the Teddy, I think Teddy does it. I feel like Teddy does it a little bit. I don't want to say more tasteful. Yeah. But. I think his product, I mean, everybody always makes fun of fun of it in New York, how he's just like a baby Ronnie. But it's, in reality, I'm just like, it just, it looks, it's executive to me a little better. But again, everybody has a preference. Some people would say Kith is better. But yeah. to me, it's just like, you like what you like. Yeah, facts. Yeah. And I, is Ronnie based in LA or no? He's in New York, he's bro. He's in New York. No, really? Queens. Yeah. <sighs> Queens Come on, money, bro. Come on. <laughs> my, my, my bad. I'm not from New York. Right? This is the one. Where, this is the part where people are just gonna send mean comments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> that one, bro. But I'm saying, like, cause, you know, they both have like. Nah, if, they're both from Queens. Yeah. For uh, real? Yeah. yeah. Damn. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, speaking of New Balances, uh, y'all seen the? Well, we had them this week. The the Tiagos and the, the new skate shoe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I seen that. They had a they had an event over here. Yeah, uh, they had an event. Back and then over that there. fucking uh, Trey was like, you're like, oh my god. Well, yeah, Tiago's like, 
he's sick. He's yeah. actually a good skater. That's it. When they came in, I like read the name and I didn't know he dropped the shoe. This mm-hmm. is me completely being oblivious yeah. to it. I was just like, oh shit, fucking Tiago. And then I was just like, oh, I'm going to just buy these. Yeah. And then I looked at the, before they came out, the ass were like $500. Bro. Oh shit. And the and guy was just like, for. the guy was just like, oh, I'll take anything from him. And I'm like, oh, I don't really want them because I don't see them really pushing like that. Yeah. Like, so then I just went off retail and I was just like, look, bro, I'm going to sell them for under retail. Yeah. And again, like I gave the dude, he was just like, yo, can you just, he said, can you just give me a hundred bucks each? And I was just like, bet. Easy. And then I, I literally just put them at 140. I think we sold one. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's just like, it really depends on who's looking for that shoot. But then they dropped this weekend and, and they sold out. For real? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, hard. It's, I mean, like you're saying, like he's a, what? He's Pro like skater. a what, new up and coming skater now? Uh, he's been putting in work, but now he... He's got, getting the shine. Got, yeah, I got the signature shoe, yeah. and I've noticed that he's put out a lot of shit, like, with New Balance. And it's cool. It's, like, New Balance's take on a skate shoe, and it's really yeah. nice. Good I've quality. seen... It, they call it sophisticated skating, which is funny. <laughs> no, like, that's, like, their push on that model. Mm. Um, but I think... Um, I think it's cool. I, uh, obviously, I don't skate, um, <laughs> but I think it's a really cool model, and it looks nice. It, and it's funny because the, the Roan, or however it's called... Yeah. Um, and they made it almost look like an ALD sneaker, like the colorway. Literally, yeah. I, that's what I thought it was at yeah. first. It looks like a hybrid 550. <laughs> Just no, skate version. Yeah. Because it no. has the, the widen up. And it is funny because I think even when I came in, it's the way it's spelled Ron. I looked at it quick. I'm like, is this Ronnie? Like, I was bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. <Jelly. laughs> no, but it, I think uh, I, was, I was watching the comments on when they said that they dropped. A lot of people are like, yo, this is a really nice skate shoe, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Like, but again, I don't know. Pricing retail was 180. I mean, no we shit. have a size nine for one forty, so <laughs> pop up. under retail, <laughs> and they're sold out. Pull yeah. up. Uh, also, speaking of new shit, um, Vir- Virgil uh, Pharrell dropped his new LV, like little what capsule? No, it was merch. Uh, merch. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny. It was so they literally. It's funny that they literally put in the description where like this is not part. This is was okay. not like it was just like merch. But to me, that just shows that. He has full reign because for him to have LV doing merch for a festival is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. low key. Yeah, like that. It was cool, and again, like people, people. But he was the, a part of it. It's that's his, his that's his yeah, festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his yeah. festival in Virginia. Something mm. in the water. Um, mm. sucks to us. Yesterday got canceled because of the weather. Yeah. 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 No, nah, but I seen um a lot of people had a lot of negative things to say about it. What? Because they were like, uh, I don't know if you know what's this, uh, Jordan. I forgot his name, Jordan F. And he went on TikTok and he was like, "Bro, like, what is what is um, Pharrell doing?" And even with the the moto jacket that it was like studded no, yeah. out, and he was but, like, "Bro, what is this?" But it, it, I mean, the studded jacket. Who knows? It might be something like a custom PC that just from for him. Yeah. But I yeah. think the uh, the merch literally it said on the on the caption it said, "This is merch. This is not part of LV's first collection." Blah blah blah. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah, I mean, again, to me, it's just, it's not even like the merch because obviously it was pretty simple, straight to the point. But to me, it's just the fact that Louis Vuitton did merch for a festival. You know? Yeah, it's it's so out of their comfort zone, literally. Yeah, so for him to do that is kind of to me that's the point I see. Where like how I said in the last episode, like uh, most people would be like, "Damn!" Like I told you guys about the Skrillex closing out. They don't yeah. they see it like damn, like a like a EDM is closing out um, Coachella. Yeah. But to me, it's just like I see it in the point of like Skrillex, uh, Fortet, and Fred again, where they're like, "Oh shit, this is a big moment for us. Like we're Max. closing out the pretty much one of the biggest festivals." Bro, literally, and. Even but that, bro, like, like I've been seeing all of them, you know, do their thing. And shout out to Skrillex, bro. He did a big, like, 180 from his image. He was at, he was at something in the water. For real? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he bro. Like, see, Saturday. like, yeah. he, he did a 180 and now yeah. he's he's yeah. up and, you know, it, it, the work shows. But even w- with the um, Pharrell thing, I think, like you were saying, like, that just sums the show. Like, bro, if they're letting him do merch for his stuff, like, imagine what they're going to let him do, like, for LV, like when he can have the full, like, all right, now design something for us. Yeah, because right now, be crazy. LV, like, obviously, it passed Virgil's last collection. They've, yeah. they've just been pushing the same product that, at least from what I get from my sales reps, it's just the same um, cuts and same just stuff that, that, right? was di- that was doing good for them that Virgil dropped, mm-hmm. just in different colorways now. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited to see what he's going to put out. Hopefully, it's cool. Um, I made the joke of um, saying that everything that they, a lot of these brands have been putting out hasn't been that great, so I've been saving a lot of money. 
<laughs> so hopefully Pharrell keeps it that way for me, but who knows? <laughs> Chill. Nah, because they that the, that new one that it's it's like a, the carpenter, the ones you have, but it's like gray now, like a wash it, gray. It's like a denim. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, like a de and they but that's like obviously it's it's just a new colorway of what they have made of like the orange ones. They, and again, my sales rep sent it to me, and I was just like, pass and pass. <laughs> You're like, I already got the, I already yeah, the black. I'm, I'm just like, nah. And then they said he sends me the whole book every time. They still send me everything. Yeah, like the last piece that I wanted to buy was I was literally just telling DC about this last night. Um, they sent me this uh, ERL Dior flannel, bro. And I was crazy. just like, and I, it was really nice, mm -hmm. like a really nice flannel. And I was just like, I hit up my boy Drew. Um, he works at the Soho store in New York. Yeah. Um, good sales rep. Hit him up. <laughs> um, and I asked him, I'm like, yo, um, how much is this? And in my head, I bought the fucking cause the Stussy Dior. The Stussy cause. Oh no, no, it was just Stussy yeah. Dior, Stussy Dior, like zip up flannel thing and i think that one was like a rack so i was like oh you know i'm willing to spend around that that eight to a rack eight to a rack then he sends me the price point 15 2500 bro <laughs> disgusting and there, there's a picture right yeah i'll, I'll send Insert you a picture, picture yeah and i literally was just like it's sick but it's but not i was just like can i justify spending 2500 dollars on this piece and so. i was talking to my boy david who, shout out david probably the richest guy i know um <laughs> uh, David knows? Oh, uh, uh, no, no. I'm uh, saying, though, in New York. Okay. Okay. Um, I sent him. I'm like, yo, like, has, like, is it me or, like, even um, designer brands are having crazy inflation on their prices? Because I remember, again, one of my favorite flannels was a Kim Jones uh, flannel from LV that I bought, like, in 2015 mm -hmm. um, or 16. And I think I spent, after tax, like, under $900 yeah. on a really nice bleach flannel. And then Virgil's flannels are twenty five hundred dollars too, Oof. and Luke has that one, um, that ni really nice flannel. And I remember I went, I was in Miami when I saw that flannel, and I was just like, "Oh, how much is this?" And they're like twenty five hundred dollars. So I was like, "Pass." Mm, but no, it's really nice flannel. But again, I don't know. I that's think the one I got the cheap version of, right? Yeah, the Supreme, the, one. <laughs> the, the Supreme Supreme dropped the exact same flannel. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember, I, we were in New York, and you're like, "Bro, this is the same shit as yeah, my yeah. LV one." Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember, bro. Even and that flannel, that Supreme one, bro. Like, what was it? Like. 200 one, like one, 160 one, 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 yeah 160 yeah. and every it's funny because like everybody had it bro because yeah. you're like bro it's the same shit yeah. <laughs> no i mean people know like again supreme drops shit like that like everybody here yeah. has the fucking the new carpenters that they dropped like julian has them kobe has oh, yeah. them yeah. worky has them um they drop good shit yeah that you just know like in new york i remember when we would work at round two we would see a certain piece and the whole staff would have that piece yeah because Easy. it was like a cool timeless yeah. Like piece that you could wear every day, like the zip up flannels, the flannels, like good yeah. bottoms, bro. They make like even shit. even Lou the Don, everybody would set text him, be like, Yo, medium, large, XL, blah, <laughs> blah, blah. and come? he would just come to the store and knew that, you know, yeah, y'all wanted it, yeah, everybody Ordinary wanted stuff. it, so he already knew what to buy, which was cool. But yeah, I feel like everything's so expensive right now where I'm just like, fuck. Bro. Don't they but don't they do that like every year? Like they add something? They, on top? Yeah, they've been going up like yeah, crazy. Like, like that's been, for everything. It's like been OD though. Yeah, yeah like Cartier but, but bro, like, like twenty five hundred dollars for a flannel. Yeah, that's <laughs> insane actually. Like I, bro, no. I would expect like a jacket <laughs> before flannel. It's type rude. Nah, Even the bro. fucking um the some Rick like jacket that nah. me and DC passed around to each other. Um, <laughs> I got it for like nine hundred dollars at the Rick Owens store when Oof. I before I moved to New York. Yeah, and now I look at that jacket. I'm like, bro, this jacket's like two thousand dollars in the store. Damn, they sell the hoodies for nine hundred. Yeah, the the Gim the Jason, Jason. Oh, Gims Gims and Gims, Jasons. Yeah. yeah, and those you could find. The, but again, it's just like don't buy nothing. I've learned don't buy nothing for retail anymore because I remember we were you were there in New York that uh, crazy like blue Balenciaga flannel. Oh, that yeah. I looked at the price tag and I'm like twenty two hundred dollars. I'm good. Then my homie Nick in uh, Dallas, he sent me that it was on sale for four hundred dollars, and I was like, auto cop, bro. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and I think that's the thing I noticed. Like it's like it's like a it's like a car. Like as soon as you drive the car off the lot, it depreciates. And I feel like as soon as you buy it, and it's like gone. You can't sell it for like even Close, that much. But yeah, I I feel like I know that when I buy certain things from just yeah. like, oh, you know what? As long as like all those pants, I'm pretty sure I spent more than they're going to go out for a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah. But you know, I spend more than that, but I know that there's certain people that don't know that, that they're like, oh, but I spent mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah on this. And I'm just like, bro, it's, it's like, you got to take the L, bro. There's no market really, you know? Facts. The next step for designers, like you're selling it to a kid that couldn't afford it at retail 
So they're going to buy it from like a buy sell trade store, real real or grailed or whatever. Yeah, facts. You know what? Uh, I don't know if maybe it's a bold statement to say kind of like under the radar, but even Palace, bro. They, I feel like they've been pretty consistent with what they're selling and their all their collections that they do. Like even the... I always look through it, obviously, for the captions because the captions are fucking hilarious. But I always there's always at least like a couple things that I like from each of their drops. Yeah. Like even now they're doing those slides. And I'm like, all right, bro. Like I haven't worn slides in like three, four years. Like just like regular slide. But I was like, damn, some palace slides for the pool. Like I'm already thinking about it like... So even then, bro, like where I don't really even see a lot of people wearing that now, but I fuck with it. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people haven't really worn Palace in a while. Yeah. That Not I've just because the trifer, yeah. bro. But yeah. the, what the other stuff is like, it, they still do like funny things, like whether it's like an accessory, or obviously like the shoes, it, like the slide. It's yeah. kind of like, ah, I can use a slide or go to the beach or something. I feel like <laughs> Stussy took their place, even though Stussy's been around. Jeez, I feel like yeah. people rather fuck with Stussy now yeah. just because they took their all their product off like their off like zoomies and stuff like that so facts so i feel like people are and again stussy makes really good clothes they're making fucking carpenters good the big old jeans they're really good yeah um i nice feel like tops too yeah they're, they're again they got good, good zip ups yeah and it's a it's a decent price point yeah i feel like even from here to new york i feel like i don't know you could correct me if i'm wrong i feel like it's a little bit easier to get the stuff in new york because I remember when we were there, Joel's, I'm going to a sushi store and See, I'm getting the, these brown pants. This is what I would say about New York. It's easier because it's right there. Yeah. See, here I save a lot of money because I'm like, fuck, I got to drive to fucking Kith or yeah. I got to drive to Stussy or I got to drive here. In New York, I would. I remember on my break, every day I would shop, literally every single day. Just walk day. or they would come? No, I would walk. Either or. I would literally be like, yo, DC, I'll be back. I'm going to go to Soho. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't planning so on good. shopping. And I would go into a store and be like, I'm going to buy this hat. Fuck yeah. it. I'm going to buy this T-shirt. I'm going to buy this. And it was just because it was like a five, ten minute walk from the store where yeah. you would go into clothes and then randomly uh, you it was funny because I used to call it myself the walk of shame when I would walk in, back into round two <laughs> yeah, with, stuff. <laughs> with a big ass bag of something and people would yeah, be like, yeah. Oh, this motherfucker shopping again. It's crazy to say, but like it's like walking to the gas station here. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how it was out there, just like, all right, cool, I'm gonna go cop some shit. Bro, yeah. that's what that's what I'm saying. And also I feel like you have those like runners that are just be like, I'm 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 here. What do you want? I'm, and gonna, was, I'm gonna get him. And it was back. not even that. It was like an addiction. Like somebody would say, like Joel or Nelson would be yeah. like, I'm going to Supreme, I'm going to Susie. I tell Nelson, buy me underwear. Yeah. I don't fucking need more underwear. <laughs> <laughs> just buy me another yeah, pack. Yeah. Like you have someone and they're gonna come back. It's not gonna take them fucking an and hour that, to and, and like that, and again we would get blessed with like a some sort of discount. Yeah. So course. it was so easy. Like again, I remember when I first landed in New York, I, I just like the the itch of wanting to buy something, the no. Stussy Converse lows dropped. Yo. And Joel texts me. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm at Stussy. You want these? And I don't, I didn't even wear them. I was just like, yeah, sure, King. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, but that's the thing. And like, even when he was just like, ah, bro, you're so right. Because I remember he went on his bike and he came back and he like went to the back, put them on. Oh, and the, the pants. And the then I was like, yo, where's Stussy at, bro? <laughs> like, I was just, it's like that thing where, I don't know if it was because we, like it's you were saying, moment. like when you're out and you're in the moment, you're like, fuck, them shit's kind of hard, I yeah. need. No, no but. yeah, it happens all the time. And, <laughs> and that would happen a lot in New York. And fuck, like the worst person to go with was with Luke because <laughs> Luke only went into the crazy stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. again, I, I remember one time I didn't fucking need it and it got fucking stolen, so I'm sick. I walked into Balenciaga and they had the swing jacket in green and I had a, I have it in black still. And I walked in and then I was just like, I asked my homegirl, Maya, I'm like, yo, do you have this? In the, because it's a woman's jacket. I'm like, what's the biggest size you have these? And they're like, oh, we have something that will fit you. And I was just like, all right, I'll take it. Yeah. She rung me up, fucking four racks. Oof. And I was just like, okay. Yeah, and by, and by that point, you're, you're gone <laughs> you're too, too far. Yeah, you're you're already like, already I gotta do it, bro. You're already at the Reggie. Yeah, I remember uh, <laughs> the funniest one was I went to Nike and I was out here at the Grove. Yeah. And I bought a bunch of tights to wear under my sh my shorts to run in mm -hmm. and i remember one of them one of the tights was 160 dollars and uh, most of them are like 40 50 whatever the well, but, but they were running shorts i mean running tights they were something? tights but i don't know they had this crazy pattern on them i guess and yeah. i was already at the register it was a cute girl ring me up and i was just like she was i was just like i looked at my total and i was like why is it so much it's like oh these are like 160 <laughs> and i was Shit. just like all right queen yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever you say baby girl 
<laughs> not even, fuck. but it was just like, I was just like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm already. Yeah, like you're, you're, already you're in here. too deep. You can't back out. Yeah, and I really wanted them. And I think, yeah, I mean, that was you like. You still have them? No, nah, they're fucking, that was like 10 <laughs> years cooked. ago. That was like 10 years ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. No, but yeah, it's just like, again, it's just like sometimes you're just in the you moment and you're just like, all right, cool. Yeah, that's happened a couple of times, especially with the fucking Jown New Balances, where I just like, I fuck, I gotta pay. It's about to be you with those Travises. Nah, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a little backstory. Even with the with the Travis, I posted, uh, I need a woman's nine. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this, I got a pair already. But shout out, shout out to the the one of the homies, I guess. He hit me up. He's like, I got a pair, and I was like, I got you six hundred. So hopefully by Saturday, look at the price. Women's nine. I was like, I got you six hundred. Look at the and, price. And payout was five forty seven. So I was like, whatever, six hundred shit, boom. And then he even was like, uh, okay, I'll let you know when they come in by next week, which is this week, they'll probably drop. So even he was like, Hold on, King, don't spend all your money. There are five so shout out to he's, him. Probably, he's probably seen all your <laughs> little fuck ups. Uh, yeah. He's like, Yeah, I got you. But no, I even I checked right now and uh, payout's like four thirty seven right now. Jeez. Well, may, it's probably You're I don't gonna know pay where like it's five. At. Yeah, I, I'm fair. cool with a solid five, even five fifty. But even at six, like it's like that thing where it's like, all right, bro, you bite the bullet. It is what it is. Like you know, you pay to play. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's it's like that thing where where I don't know. I think just moving on in life and being around you guys, it's like, bro, the money's gonna have to be spent one way or another. Like you just gotta go through the motions. That's that's all it is, bro. Yeah, uh, me and these here time out. I was just like, I spend most of my money on food. Same. Facts, bro. <laughs> Literally, my food intake. I'm just like, bro, all I spend my money on is food and stupid shit, yeah. which mainly food. But it's but it's also like the the convenience. Like you don't have to go get it. It's like it comes here. No, not even that. It. Just like it's just in general. Go, like my bills is mainly food. <laughs> like it's literally just mainly food. Fuck it, bro. It is what it is. At, at some point, it's just like, like well, all I want is food. I'm, yeah. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> I like to eat. Ay, ay, ay. No, but shout out Palace too. Like, oh, five minutes. <laughs> no, but I think it's funny that I noticed that even in the in the sin descriptions, you always do like a, something a little funny like that. Yeah, I stopped. I kind of stopped doing it, but yeah, I don't know. Like <laughs> hopefully, I was telling DC that I would need to um upsell more stuff, like not upsell, but just make more shit now. Yeah, like, like more the, the designs yeah. that that is sitting on is like I literally have like two hundred designs, bro. At, <laughs> I think I think. Even just personally, like m even me with my brand, like I just noticed, like I've just been obviously every day I kind of pay attention to the the market and the community and what they want. And it's like I just see people always come in and they'll be like, yo, when are you going to restock the Amen hat? And I was like, I just restocked it. Or they'll buy something and they'll be like, yo, when are you going to drop this though? I just bought that. And I'm like, damn. So it's like you kind of just got to like keep it going and keep it pushing and that's why I'm like, even with Jerry, I was watching an interview of him and the guy was like, oh, well, how do you how do you go about dropping things if, you know, you're not on calendar all the time? And he's like, we just drop it when it's ready to go. Like, we just always do it all the time. And I just see like that's the way kind of like fashion is going is just they just there's no more calendar now. It's just like we just drop when we're ready. Yeah. When you're whenever you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. You bro. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, all right. And you're sure. like, I think this is a good like this. Like the, the I'm pretty sure the Frank was not even on calendar. No, it's it just like you just had the idea. And then bam. No. Yeah. People are complaining about no Frank merch and they were DMing me and they were like, yo, you should make Frank merch. And I was just like, all right, skinny. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Like, all right, I got, yeah let's do it. <laughs> no, it was quick. Not, but hopefully that fucking T-shirt comes in soon. But I think it will be. No, uh, I mean, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> hopefully after the Miami pop up. I think it'll be just around that time. Yeah. They just hit me up about more shit that I input. But, yeah. and it's funny because even them, they're just like, yo, you guys make so, fucking, so much fucking merch now. And I was, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's just what it is, bro. Yeah. Like, uh, see, but yeah, I was even thinking about even doing some shit where like the people that spend here, um, I kind of want to do where like if you spend over $350, we'll give you a free tea, you know, yeah. like where it's just, it's just standard. Like, okay, you spend 350 not in trade and cash. Yeah. Um, you get a free tea. Yeah. Or if you spend 250 you get a pair of socks whenever them shits come in too. Man. But yeah, it's just like, again, um, I kind of like, to me, it's just like, if they're buying a pair of Jordans, they're buying a Jordan essentially. Yeah, they got it at Syndicate, but it's not really, like it's a Jordan still. Yeah. But if they're leaving away with that, Jordan with a syndicate hat, syndicate tee or syndicate socks. Yeah. To me, that's cooler than just walking away with a Jordan. 
And then so this, I kind of, yeah. and it, it just like it not I don't want to say entices you, but you feel a little bit more appreciated. Like, oh, should I spend three fifty? Oh, should they throw in a tea? Yeah, it's like a rewards program. Kind of. Not really, but yeah, I just always kind of have it like, all right, cool, like maybe do a post and have it pinned where like, okay, if you buy this, uh, you get blah, blah, blah. And it's just always there where people are like, all right, cool. Obviously, while supplies last, but. yeah, Because yeah. I know even um, Sam from Death Club, he was showing me that he has like points mm -hmm. and like, I, I, I forgot what it was, but it's like what people spend, you get like 50 points. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, bro, sometimes people will buy a whole collection for free and it'll be free because they have all the points yeah. there. But it's like that thing where someone's like, damn, I'm buying something and then I can rack it up and then at the end I can buy a whole collection for free. So even I was like, damn, that's kind of smart, bro. Or even I'm like trying to think of like, okay, let me, you know, because it's, bro, it, it's it's that thing where it's like at some point you you have to give something back to the community besides just like, oh, here's another tea. Or here's no, another yeah. <laughs> I mean, we always give back. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. I, I still feel like our presentation, not to guess ourselves up, it might be one of the best presentations, like where you get a syndicate bag, a syndicate sticker, definitely a fucking T-shirt and everything. But yeah, we'll take a little break and we'll be back to close up. <laughs> uh, it's a long one, Loki. Hasn't been this long in a while. <laughs> My bad. That's what you said. Hey, yo. Hey. Anyways, DC, you want to say something? Um, Yeah, let's start off with another pair of Jordan 1s that's coming out. It's like another mocha. 150 store credit. <laughs> <laughs> it literally looks like a bread royal, but with mocha. But they're calling it pimento. What is it? You seen them? I'll show them to you. What is Chris it called? Pimento. Oh, pimento. pimento. Or pimento. Or you might need a Mandy. It's no. literally like a bread royal, but mocha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that, <laughs> that color like, blocking. That. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll show yeah, them to you yeah. real quick. I might need. Those wait, wait. Oh, no, then. No, I did. No, no, no. It's part of the long list of pictures. <laughs> I might need that. Wait, is it suede or is it leather? It looks like it's suede, like the mochas. <laughs> I don't need. I've oh, Palomino, sorry. Palomino. Let's get the name right. Palomino. When do they drop? When do they drop? Uh, let's see. September second. God take it, damn. Man. That's a while. The from only now. shoe that hot. I think matters this month is the Spider Verse. Spider Verse is two point oh's drop in. I need those. Oh, and low God. key, they're better than I don't uh, need the first them, ones. No, bro. One time wear. For Why the are you hitting on these? It's a Chicago one. Bro, yeah. It's like ah, that's these too much. greater than those. Where? He said those are greater than the lost and founds. <sighs> he might be right. He might be right. <laughs> That's insane. These a little movie. But uh, these better. That, these better than the first ones, low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're the way better. They're the, way, yeah, yeah, the, the ones yeah, with the little circles. with the clear soul with and shit. Clear, yeah, yeah, no, those are way mind. better than the first ones. I would say. I think the two point is way better. Yeah, it's ice cool. bottoms on a one ain't the best thing not in it, life. Not it. Not it. No yeah, because then they get yellow and then they get dirty and then it just looks all wrong. They're gonna get dirty regardless, but yeah. I yeah, know, yeah. but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellowed out and all that. They get but um, you know, also favorite subject SBs, <laughs> um, uh, LA native, Toby Crenshaw Skate Club getting yes, his own SB. Y'all seen him? Yeah, I saw him. What do you think? They're cool. Wait, what? Which one? I'll show it to you. Crenshaw Skate Club told you this? No. Bro. Oh, you had him on. No, bro. Honestly, I can't say they're cool yet or they're bad yet because I haven't seen like official images. It's just like the leaked leak? images. What is this? Let me see. What we're talking about. Crenshaw. Uh, oh, Crenshaw Skate. Wow. Yo, shout out to Toby, bro. Like for real, I I I'm not that I, I I'm pretty sure you guys have seen him when he was way, way, way younger. But you know, every time I've you know seen him, he's very respectful, very polite, and he's always like onto some new shit. Yeah, so shout he, out to him. He used to be a, uh, uh, like he used to sell a ton of vintage. It's funny, young oh, bull. Yeah, oh, around too. Yeah. Him and his uh, dad would come in, I believe. Yeah, if I'm wrong, correct me. But they would come. I don't know who could correct me. Maybe Sean. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> but, I, I no, remember but his dad he would come in. in and he would always sell shit and then get uh, essentially trade. He would do. I would say like uh, he would go like to the thrifts and stuff. I would say, mm -hmm. and then he would trade his like vintage for streetwear, which was sick. Yeah, yeah. that's hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I have to, I mean, send us, I mean, I'm pretty sure mom would do or somebody could send us a clear image of them. So <laughs> hopefully they can. But yeah, I can't say they're cool yet or they're bad yet because I haven't seen a real image. Oh, Sam Bruce a pair, aka. Yeah. No, no, no. Full I, review. Don't, I don't really like SBs. Boo. They're cool. DC yeah, but I feel them like where you want to see like better pictures or on feet, yeah. uh, uh, all that. But yeah, shout out to him. Killing it with his brand. He's yeah. done a lot of collabs with other people too. He did a collab with the Clippers. He's done a collab with Union, so... Man's is busy and yeah. he's in college too. So yeah, and he's in college. Yeah, that's so the you, you got to put that in. You know, like man's is grinding while he's in school too. So Facts. big ups him. 
and that's I feel like uh, that's it's that's very difficult to juggle, especially uh, I guess at the level that he's at right now, where it's like I'm pretty sure it's not no like all right, let me submit this and I'm done. It's like submit, <laughs> study this that, and then the other side, the brand, this meeting, that meeting, mm -hmm. like so. Shout out to him. He's really like you can tell he's like very very focused on what he's doing, and he he didn't even went to like a prestigious school as well. Stanford, right? Yeah. Stanford, if I'm yeah, wrong. I'm, I think Stanford. I think so. Pretty sure. That's hard. So shout out to Toby. But yeah. Anyways, this time, next week we will be doing a live pod in MIA. At what time you said? Eight. Eight, eight nine. That's Eastern. That's Eastern. So fucking five a.m. Oh, here. Oh shit! It's gonna be early as fuck. Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Wait! 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 <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm be asleep. Because they're two hours ahead. Three, three right? hours yeah. ahead. Oh, three hours, three, yeah, hours. three hours. I'm thinking CST. <laughs> yeah, CST. Yeah. Yes, y'all gonna, gonna land and go straight to bed? Who's gonna watch it, gonna watch it live? Hopefully At 5 a.m.? Ask us questions, 5 a.m. But I mean, there's people that watch us that are all over the place, you know? Facts. There's some people. The London people. Yeah, the London people. They're, you guys are in the future. The London things. Shout out to them. Wait, why can't we do 8 a.m. though? Because it, 8 a.m. is 11 a.m. over there. Why can't, we, why can't it be at 11 a.m.? Because the store opens at 11. This yeah. time. One hour. Be oh, yeah. no, I'm saying 8 a.m. Miami time, whatever this time is. That's here. 5 a.m. here. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> there, <laughs> oh, bro. Three, no, you're... Right, sure, right now, right, New right, York. Right, right. We shoot it there at 8 a.m. It's 5 o'clock yeah, in New York right now. Yeah, it's 5 o'clock right over here. It'll be a, and then it'll go live here at eleven. It's supposed to time traveling. Nah, but you're, we're you don't gonna get be it. live. The live. So means yes, we're gonna All be right. live at five a.m. here. You know how it's one fifty three here? Yes, it's four fifty three over there. Okay, right so now. what? Okay, you, I, I I understand. They're that. in the future. Yes, so that's why. Why don't we just do it at eight a.m. Th their time? Eight a.m. That's what he's Miami saying. time. Y'all are gonna do it at eight a.m. Oh, like it's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you said we're gonna go at five, we're gonna film at five a.m. there. I was no, like, bro, five a.m. Nah. Pacific 5 time. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. I mean, it's gonna be live, so they can rewatch it. Yeah. Oh, Rob, make sure the thing works this time for the store for, for the, the comments for the live. Oh, no, it's no, we know, but we're doing it on Star Credit now. He yeah, already, no, he already set it up. Remember, yeah, he already it? set up. Okay, we're good. All right, for sure, for sure. Uh, so, damn, five a.m. Uh, you get up for like Champions Leagues. <laughs> Around that time to watch all that. No, the Champions League over there was always ahead of time. Uh, yeah. Also, it was like perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. over there, if it's 5 a.m. here, it's 8 a.m. here. It's yeah. Normal yeah. time. <laughs> I bet it took me a while to understand that. My you bad. don't sorry, know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who was in the? He was, he was, I was in traveling. a blender. I, 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 I thought we were going. I thought we were going back. Like I, whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Back, back yeah, to the anyways, future. Live pod. It's gonna be. I think that's gonna be fun. <laughs> talking about MIA. Nelson's gonna be there. Should we get him in? I feel like we should. No. No. Yeah, you're broke. Uh -huh. Oh boo. Yo, yo, bro. So, now yeah. we could catch up with Nelson. See what he's been up to besides nothing. Chill <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's he been enjoying life. Sure he's lost yeah, he's been he's been uh enjoying he's on his gym shit. <laughs> I Shout out to him. He's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah. He's so been the, doing. He's been riding his little Van Move. <laughs> what that means? His, his little, little bike. His little uh, bike. Uh, <laughs> just got a, he should have got a roller bike. That's a e motorcycle bike yeah. thing. They're cool though. They're expensive though. Yeah, that's gonna be fun though. Got new jewelry too. Ooh. Man, living it up. Nelson said unemployed. Who? Hey yo. Shout All out right. to him. <laughs> But yeah, I think we're good. No, yeah, but that's it. See y'all in MIA next week. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> like, Daily comment, Miami, subscribe. eleven to seven, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, subscribe. Hear us everywhere. I'll be Watch there us on bit. YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Later's. <laughs>